ओम साई राम मे बाबा ब्लेस वन एंड ऑल एबेंडेंटली टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी फ्रॉम द बुक साई एट थ्री सिक्स सिक्स द हैपनिंग ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ एप्रिल विच टॉक्स अबाउट मस्जिद इज a parental home my mother's parental home is at pandharpur on the banks of river bhima my parents are ratmai and vithal thus surrendered remembering his mother's parental home eknath in one of his abhangs how unparalleled surrender one could find such surrender in sai baba's devotee by name shama once a snake was bitten to his little finger he had not gone for traditional medicine but came to sai baba sai baba ordered not to climb the steps of masjid he felt alarmed thinking that baba was ordering him Masjid was my parental home I am the son of Sai Baba but how could a mother herself show her anger on her child why whom should i discuss about the snake bite except the mother if mother herself drive away then what's my fate lamented shama by dejected face Yes, Shama was a courageous person and a blessed person too. And an ideal person to declare like Eknath that Dwarika Mai was his parental home. This one incident only was the yardstick for his life. As far as friendship was concerned, Shama thought Sai Baba as his friend. but he surpasses that bond of friendship it was not his weakness it was the trust he had on sai baba's power at first shama did not believe sai baba shama was attracted towards sai baba after sai baba was talking in various languages the saint Anand Nath who he wanted to have darshan has personally come to Shirdi to have darshan of Sai Baba along with many other miracles Though he was very close to Sai Baba he was addressing Sai Baba as Deva Most of the incidents in Shri Sai Satcharita have the connection with Shama it seems that he was interested in devotees experiences that enabled him to know more instances for example unless shama questioned nana sahib chandorkar when nana sahib chandorkar was thrilled to see outer beauty of a woman could not be known to the outside world in reference to chapter 49 from sai satcharita Shama merged in Sai Baba on April 16th year 1944 Let us avail the friendship that Shama has with Sai Baba Both Shri Sai peace be to all The moral of the story Be simple Simplicity will take you closer to sai baba never have pride or ego of what you do and what you have remember that everything is given by the lord almighty sai baba treat sai baba in all the relation be it a father mother friend well wisher 
be humble respect one another irrespective of caste creed age etc it is all about having more faith in baba it is about believing him to be hari hara and brahma about all he is our saima a mother who always takes care of the well-being of his child who understands the feelings of the child who is always with the child he is our mother who will never allow us to fall he is our mother who keeps us alarming at every walk of our life a mother in silence but strong in confidence bout shri sai peace be to all for more audios please visit sai leelas.com jai sai ram